My name is Professor Rajiv Barua at the University of Maryland. I'm a professor in computer, uh, computer engineering in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering and uh, the Institute for Systems Research at the university. I did my undergraduate degree at the Indian Institute of Technology in Computer Science and Engineering and subsequently my master's and PhD at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in Cambridge, Massachusetts. My research interests are in the broad area of compilers and software systems in general, including runtime systems. And the goal of my research is to make programming easier and to make the resulting code more efficient in terms of runtime and in terms of power consumption. Um, also, to improve the security of computer systems. So those are some of the broad goals of my research. One example of a research project I've been working on is in the area of binary rewriting. So we have been building, my students and I at the university, we have been building a software system called SecondWrite. What SecondWrite does is it takes in binary executable programs for the Intel and AMD architectures and converts them into an equivalent C program that does the same thing. So it's essentially reverse engineering, but reverse engineering rather than to assembly code, it's reverse engineering all the way back to functional high-level language code. This is valuable for at least three reasons. One, uh, people may have legacy software for which they've lost the source code and we can use second right to recover source code from such legacy software. Another use of such a system is to analyze vulnerabilities in third party code. Let's say you're a security company and you want to analyze vulnerabilities in commonly used Microsoft or Adobe code. One doesn't have access to the source one can use second right to analyze that program to find how it may be attacked and thereby defend the computer systems better. Finally, it's valuable for analyzing malware because for malware, one never, legitimate uh, victims of malware, uh, never have access to the source code for malware. A system like second right can help understand that malware, what it does, what vulnerabilities it exploits, and that understanding is helpful for defending computer systems from that point on. So that's one example of a project I've been working on. Another is on automatic parallelization. The goal would be to take serial programs and compile them for parallel hardware and the challenge there in the compiler is to find the parallelism automatically and that involves deep program analysis, control flow analysis, data flow analysis to figure out what portions of the code can be done concurrently and finally generate code for that. 